Hello, I'm Miss Jan, and today I'm here to bring you Family Storytime. Miss Sage and I will be taking turns on Fridays bringing you those Family Storytimes. I would like to thank HarperCollins, Capstone Press, and Bloomsburg USA for permission to read their books. Don't forget to tune in next week for more virtual story times. Babies and Books is on Tuesday at 9.30 a.m. Stories for Twos and Threes is on Wednesday at 9.30 a.m. Preschool time, Story Time is on Thursday at 9.30 a.m. Miss Sage will be here next Friday for Family Story Time at 9.30 a.m. Subscribe to the Swickley Public Library YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to be notified when we post new videos. Okay, so let's start out a little quietly. Okay, so let's start out quietly. Hello, everybody, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello, everybody, and how are you? How are you today? Okay, ready? Put on your loud voice. Let's do it that way. Hello, everybody, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello, everybody, and how are you? How are you today? And make sure all of our body parts are here. Let's go. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Okay, remember what we do next? We speed it up, let's go. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Good job, give yourselves a hand. Okay, let's make sure all of our fingers are here. Ready, warm them up a little. And we're gonna count them one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Give a little finger wave. Hello, fingers. Now we're gonna sing them a song. One little, two little, three little fingers. Four little, five little, six little fingers. Seven little, eight little, nine little fingers. Ten fingers on our hands. Give yourselves a round of applause. Okay, ready to do the itsy bitsy spider? Get your pointers and your thumbs. Turn one upside down and we start low. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Good job. Okay, now we're gonna get ready to read a book. And to read a book, we need to make sure all of our alphabet friends are here. So let's say our alphabet together. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Good job. Okay, our first book is called The Most Perfect Spot by Diane Good. And you can see here they're in a park, there's some water, they're spreading out a blanket. And I wanted to point out to you, this says, well, it's dedicated to the most perfect son, but I wanted to point out this little dog sleeping on top of a trash can. And use your good looking eyes and you will see that dog on every page we turn. Okay. One sunny morning, Jack made his mama breakfast in bed and a card that said, I know the perfect spot for the perfect picnic. So Mama put on her very best hat and they set off for Prospect Park. The sky was clear and blue. It was the perfect day for a picnic. They walked around the corner and through the big park gate. There's the gate. They followed a wooded path until they came to the lake. The water was calm. 
It seemed like the most perfect spot, so Jack helped his mama into a boat. But suddenly, who knows why, a flock of ducks flapped their wings and cried, quack, 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 quack. And why do you think, was he the dog? Do you think he had something to do with the ducks? The noise startled Mama, splash. She fell into the lake, splash. Jack fell in too, so the dog. Brrr, Jack and Mama were wet and cold, so they went to dry off in the sun. It seemed like the most perfect spot, but suddenly, who knows why, five riders on horseback came galloping by, clippity-clop, clippity-clop, splat. Splat, splat, the horses kicked up the mud and it got all over Mama and Jack. So Jack took his mama to the carousel, where they'd be safe from ducks and horses. It seemed like the most perfect spot, but suddenly, who knows why, the carousel went around and around, whoosh, 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 very fast. Look, somebody changed the speed on the carousel. Woo, the ride made mama dizzy and she could not find her hat. There were gray clouds in the sky. Jack and Mama were too tired and too hungry to look for Mama's hat. So they plopped down in a meadow. It was noisy, yakety yak yak, and before they could eat, it began to rain. Bitter pat, bitter pat, bitter pat. And suddenly, who knows why, a pack of dogs ran past, barking, arp, arp, woof, woof. And then it began to pour. This park does not have the most perfect spot for a picnic, Jack said. So he took his mama by the hand and they ran through the park, park gate. They did not look back. Ran around the corner, splish, splash, squish. They ran through the wet streets and all the way up the stairs, back home to the best picnic spot. Just Mama and Jack. And look, the little dog that followed them all through the park has Mama's hat. The most perfect spot. And now you see the dog became part of their family. Hey, thank you for listening. Are you guys ready for some shaky eggs? Make a little noise. First, we gotta warm them up because they've been in that bin all cold and lonely. Shake them loud. Shake them quiet. Shake them loud. Shake them quiet. One more time, loud and quiet. And then, oh, where's Shaker? Where'd it go? Where is Shaker? Where is Shaker? Here I am. Here I am, hopping on your head, hopping on your head. Run away, run away. Where is Shaker? Where is Shaker? Here I am, here I am, rolling on your shoulder, rolling on your shoulder. Run away, run away. Where is Shaker? Where is Shaker? Here I am. Here I am, knocking on your knee, knocking on your knee. Run away, run away. Good job, Shaker Cheer. Okay, you ready to go to Kentucky? We're gonna go three times. Here we go, first time. We're going to Kentucky, we're going to the fair to see the senorita with the flower in her hair. So shake it, baby, shake it, shake it if you can. Shake it like a milkshake and pour it in a can. Shake it at the bottom, shake it at the top. Shake it all around and around until we holler, stop. Okay, second time. We're going to Kentucky, we're going to the fair to see the senorita with the flower in her hair. So shake it, baby, shake it, shake it if you can. Shake it like a milkshake and pour it in a can. Shake it at the bottom, shake it at the top, 
shake it all around and around until we holler stop. Okay, third time, last one. We're going to Kentucky, we're going to the fair to see the senorita with a flower in her hair. So shake it, baby, shake it, shake it if you can. Shake it like a milkshake and pour it in a can. Shake it at the bottom, shake it at the top. Shake it all around and around and around and around and around. One last time around until we holler. Stop. Good job. Give yourself a shaker too. Okay, so here's a book that's a nonfiction book. That means it's not a story that we're telling. It's real stuff. And this is called Let's Look at Summer. It's summer. How do you know it's summer? Well, the temperature rises. It's the warmest season. The sun shines high in the sky. Summer days are the longest of the year. Animals in summer, what do animals do in the summer? Deer rest in the shade to keep cool. Tadpoles grow into young frogs and they find bugs to eat. Fireflies light up on summer nights. Have you seen any fireflies yet? I've seen just a couple. They flash their lights to find mates. Plants in summer. What happens to plants in summer? Trees are full of green leaves. You know, there are some trees that have purple leaves too. You might look for that. Plump cherries hang from branches. They're a tasty summer treat. Sunflowers turn towards the sun. As the sun goes over the sky, the sunflowers turn with them. They grow taller with the warm sunshine. What's next? Oh, after summer comes fall, but that's a different story. Here, the last book I have for you is called A Little Bit of Trouble by Sally Grinley. We're ready, my little bears. I packed the sandwiches, chocolates, and cakes, so off we go. It's a beautiful day for a picnic. The sun is shining, the sky is blue, and it's so peaceful here in the countryside. So I want to point out to you, go back just a little bit. Here's Grandpa getting ready to go, and the cubs find a little treat in the basket before they head out. And you can see they're eating it here. So keep your eyes open for all the little bits and pieces. It's a beautiful day for a picnic. The sun is shining, the sky is blue, and it's so peaceful here in the countryside. Ha, I used to do that myself when I was young. See, they're climbing on the gate. Grandpa says, just make sure you close the gate behind you. We don't want the bull chasing us. Let's see, did they close the gate? I don't think so. Don't run too far ahead, my little bears. Grandpa isn't as young as he was. Here's a perfect spot. A nice shady tree to keep off the sun and a little river running by. These sandwiches are delicious, but Silly Grandpa, I must have left the cake behind. My memory's not as good as it was. Let's all have a little doze in the sun, and then we'll play hide and seek. Grandpa's dozing on the picnic basket. The kitty is dozing on Grandpa. Ouch! Who's throwing things? Do you know what these things are? Those are acorns out of the tree. Squirrels, I expect. They can be quite mischievous. Now, where are those bears? There they are. Oh, goodness, help, run, little bears, run! Because the bull is there, huh? Stay where you are, little bears, while Grandpa shoes away the old bull. Here's Grandpa. He's going to chase the bull away, you think? I don't know. Ah, 
thank goodness he's gone. What sensible bears you are to hide up in a tree. Your mother will be so pleased when I tell her. Time to go home now, I think. It's been such a perfect day, aside from that one little bit of trouble. The end. So I have a fun craft for you today. I hope it's fun. You start out with a piece of red paper and you fold it over and you cut in almost to the edges of the paper. And then you just take another kind of paper. I've used white and red here. And you weave it through. Here, I'll show you. This one is finished weave, being woven. This one is partway finished. You can see to finish it, I need to put this behind the red and then go on up. And you know, sometimes you make something, you think it's just right, and it comes out just a tiny bit wrong. And you might notice that these are all the same size, but then this one's a little shorter, but that's okay. And I also want to show you a little surprise you can put into your, this is supposed to be a placemat, and this placemat has an aunt who came to join the picnic. So I hope you take a chance and uh, maybe do a little craft like this. And maybe you have a blanket that's checkered that you put on the ground to have a little picnic. And I hope the ants don't eat all of your good food. Okay, take care. See you in a couple weeks.